Hospital cases are skyrocketing. In Pennsylvania, more than 5,000 people are currently hospitalized, and many of those facilities could be reaching their breaking point. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl is here with those details. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Jessica. Pennsylvania could be out of intensive care beds soon, according to the Secretary of Health. In Delaware County, there are reportedly just eight ICU beds currently available. COVID-19 has hospitals across the state in critical condition. More than 5,000 people are hospitalized in Pennsylvania. That's an 85% increase compared to just two weeks ago, and ICU beds are running out fast. A significant concern that we need to work to avoid. The Secretary of Health has established a system for local hospitals to work together, canceling elective surgeries when necessary to keep beds available. There are not an unlimited number of hospital beds. But even more importantly, there are not an unlimited number of staff. Because of community spread, a growing number of health care workers have COVID or need to quarantine. It's overwhelming and we're doing the best we can. Staffing shortages in hospitals have become significant. There's only so many 12-hour shifts you can do in a week. In Montgomery County, most hospitals are at capacity. Unlike in the spring, medical staff from other states aren't available to help and neither is the National Guard. They're fully employed and fully uh, deployed to um, nursing homes and other long-term care facilities that are challenged. And so they can't be in two places at once. It means extra work for Alyssa Yeager on her first job as a doctor at Jefferson Center City, taking care of COVID patients. As the numbers increase, we have to sort of get all hands on deck. Different teams are taking on more and more uh, responsibility. It's difficult and challenging, but Dr. Yeager says one of the hardest parts is seeing patients struggling. Mostly it's the emotional toll that it comes from taking care of these patients that are just so sick and, and are alone. And patients are alone because hospitals are closed to visitors of COVID precaution. Dr. Yeager and others try when they can to link the patients with loved ones with things like FaceTime. Jessica? All right, Stephanie, thank you.